In this one, we're gonna be setting up basic user registration and basic user login. Now, the reason we're doing this is to show you how you can do it on a very basic scale to kind of introduce you to that concept, but also so you know that the ones that are more powerful, that is like Django All Auth and Django Registration Redux and also Python Social Auth, the, the third parties that actually do this, they do what we're about to do, but in more detail and it's just a little bit more robust than what we're gonna be doing. But it's still useful for you to learn at least on a basic scale on how this works. Now we do go into more depth on a lot of things here, which we will talk about, but um, one of them being the Django Forms. So we go into more depth on our website on that stuff specifically. Uh, we also have a simple custom auth. So going into doing this same sort of thing, but adding a whole nother level to it, that is another one that you might consider checking out. Uh, but the main thing for this is to really just basically understand how to do this authentication stuff because as the blog is concerned, we do want to be able to have users log in and actually make comments versus um, how it is right now where they can't actually do that. And the reason that we're not jumping into using like Django Registration Redux, especially if you followed Try Django 1.8, um, the reason for that is to give you a more comprehensive look at building very basic yet powerful features in Django. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna create a brand new app in here for this blog. I'm gonna call it accounts. You can call it whatever you like, but for the purpose of the video, accounts makes the most sense, right? Because it's gonna be related to user accounts. That is login and register. So Python manage.py, start app accounts, and Python manage, and then inside of our accounts, um, what we're gonna be doing is views and then also forms. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and think through the different views we want. So first of all, I'll define the functions for it. So the first one, I'll do login view, and it's just gonna take in request, and then it's gonna return render and some other stuff. So we'll just do request, some template, I'll just say form.html for right now, and then I'll just put an empty context, um, or in, empty dictionary there for our context. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this view and paste it a couple more times. The reason for a couple more times is because we want a register view. And we also want a logout view. It makes sense to actually end the session. Uh, it's really important that you do underscore view because there there is a login method or function that Django has specifically. So since we're talking about it, we might as well import it. I'm gonna import a few things from authentication. That's from Django.contrib. Dot auth, we're gonna import, and using parentheses here, we're gonna do authenticate. Um, I'll, all of these things will be explained as we use them. We'll do model, login, and logout. So as we see here, we have two functions, login and logout, so that's even more important for login view, as well as logout view. Register view, we don't actually have one, um, but we will need to create forms for each aspect of this. So the first form that I'm gonna create is just the login form. Um, so let's go into accounts and we'll go to new file and we'll do forms.py and we'll do from Django import forms. And we're gonna say class user login form and this is forms.form. And there's two fields we're gonna use and that's username equals to forms.char field. And then we are gonna do password which is forms.char field and we wanna use a widget for password input. So we'll do widget equals to forms.password input. Um, without going into, we actually don't need the parentheses at the end of password input, but without going into too much detail here, password input is just gonna basically hide the password from the user from seeing it. Um, this is good for, you know, passwords when you're actually entering those passwords in. Uh, okay, so this is the basic form that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna go back into our login view and we wanna put that form in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do from.forms import user login form and we'll say form equals to user login form request.post or none. Hopefully all of that is very clear as to how that works at this point. And then we'll do if form dot is valid, then we are gonna get the username equals to form.cleanedata.get, username, and then the password, 
equals to form.cleanedata.get password. Cool. Um, and don't really need to test this at this point, mainly because, well, this is just very standard form kind of interactions. If you're really not familiar with this or it's not confusing to you, go back and watch from the beginning of TriJingle 1.9 or even watch TriJingle 1.8 because this form stuff right where we're at right now is fairly early on stuff. So you you hopefully have done this a ton and this should be a little repetitive to you at this point. Okay, so now that we've got this form, we wanna put this into our context dictionary here. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. And then I also wanna check out the template to make sure that I have a form and I don't, I have a post form. So maybe we could just use that. Let's actually take a look at the post form. It is similar to what we want, but overall we don't need this preview and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and make a new template uh, for form.html, paste that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this preview area and just do column small offset three and we'll leave form. You could put a title, actually, let's just do it. Let's put a title in here um, and I'm gonna get rid of this block extra because we don't need that. Cool, so now we've got our form and this title is gonna go here too. So we're just basically putting the title in two places. It's gonna be login as well as register. So since we have that context, we do wanna add it in to our view and we'll do title equals to login and we're gonna pass that into our context dictionary. Again, all of this stuff should be fairly straightforward to you. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and add this view into our URLs. So inside of blog URLs, we are gonna go ahead and import this here. And I'm gonna import this directly. So from accounts.views import, and we're gonna import the login view. We might as well import the other views as well because we will use them. So register view as well as logout view. Uh, we don't have to actually add a view for them quite yet, but we will at least put them on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and write out the URL for it using a very simple regular expression, which is just gonna be a login. And then we're gonna include, or excuse me, then we're gonna do login view. And we're gonna add a name of login. Cool, so that's our, that's it. That's all we need to do for our login. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We might need to make sure the server is running. It's probably not, and it is not. So python manage.py run server. Uh, press up a couple times and we'll get up. And it's saying no, cannot import name user login form. So let's go back into our forms and make sure we've saved it. Um, so now it's saved. So it looks like that error goes away and it does. So we refresh and now we've got this login stuff. Um, I already have autocomplete on there, but I don't want it. So I'm gonna open up a incognito window and just say ABC, one, two, three, password. Nothing seems to happen. Um, and that's where validation is gonna be coming very, very important here um, to validate that this user exists, but then also after to assume that the user exists after to actually authenticate them. Um, and that's where this stuff is going to come in and we will definitely come back to that in the next one. If you have any questions on what we did to set up this in particular, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.